Okay, I'm gonna try to tape this video. Let's see how many times they're gonna turn it off. I'm getting used to it now. Because they really think I'm about to say something that's really gonna get someone to get a heart attack. Then they turn it off. But believe me, there's nothing I have to say to the few people who will watch it that will get a heart attack. It's not the people who will watch it. The big car coaches who are clinging on the chair. They're looking for what will make them become young people again in the world. Now, I have to tell you something. I live with the gods and I get knowledge flowing in. Then I take my book and I write it down so I don't forget it. But as I was saying on the last video I make, when you have to, when you live in a place like here, Lynn, you want to drive to England, you want to drive to Amsterdam. It's not as far as you think it is. England is not as far from Holland. England is Holland. Holland is England. You know how I know? Around the 23 to the 24 of April last year, 2008, there was a smelling on the Dutch farm and the whole smell something was wrong with the farmers and the farm and that farm the smell was all over in the city of London they were asking people if they can smell it from Holland to England it's 45 minutes with a flight so if a plane can fly 45 minutes what makes you think England is not Holland? It's like going to Belgium and Germany on top of the hill where you have the pole. They said here's Germany, here's Holland, and here's Belgium. It's no different like me and my neighbors. I live in this street, but the other side, they live in that street, but the other side, they also have a different street. But doesn't mean we are not the same area. It's just names make it different. And language to differentiate the people. But when they get together, they all speak the same English. Like the Queen of Holland. How many people who live in Holland who notice how different Koning and Beatrix is from the Dutch people themselves? Nobody wear their hair like the queen does. The queen wear her hair just like the queen of England. They are sisters. They are families. Do you watch the picture of the queen of England? Do you watch the hair of Cunningham and Beatrice? She never change it. She never change her hairstyle. It's always the same. But when she goes to England, when she goes abroad, then she do it differently. In Holland, she always put those big hats to go around. When I move from here, I go to, to go visit my children where they are. It's only by train, it takes me two hours to get there. But I have to take the bus, then I take the train, then I take the bus. But it's amazing when you're sitting in a bus and the bus is driving with you. First you go on top of the highway and then you go round, then you go below. You can see it by the sun. If the sun is in front of you when you're driving, when you take a turn and then the sun is in the back of you. Now you take a turn, the sun is on your right side. No, because we are going round and round and round and round. The sun is standing on one spot, moving from one end to the other, whilst we driving round and round and round. 
Every time you zap in on the TV, CNN is showing you the man with the beard, you know, wolf. And then they have, they have new faces, beautiful girls are coming, they're just talking, and you see, it's something new, and there's, there's a development. <coughs> Sorry about that, they tried to choke me. There's a development. It's coming from somewhere. They're trying to distract you. And when they say they have a bill, they want to pass a bill, believe me. The bill is to to say, okay, everybody's listening. There's something important coming. Maybe they're gonna save our job. They're gonna save our company. No, they're keeping you inside so you don't go outside to watch the planes flying in our skies, praying. There are stars in the sky, but that's not all. It is stars. Every night we sleep in two o'clock in the night. You are sleeping, I'm not sleeping. I watch them shooting and spraying because I have one-on-one -on -one contact with the moon and the stars and the sun, and that's a fact. The moon is right now full in the sky, but tomorrow it's a little bit off. The day after tomorrow it's getting, then it's going down and down and down. This is real. This is, is, it's unbelievable that these people can play this game with us. If you sit in a bus, you have a car, you never take the bus. When it's Saturday, instead of you go play football or something, why don't you take the bus, buy a bus ticket, sit in a bus, please, and watch your sky. Watch like you never see it before. Watch the sky and see how they pump the cloud. Sometimes it's so funny, it's like a sketch. Doesn't mean because our eyesight, we have a veil in our eyes. Even the glasses, when you wear it, you don't see as far as you think you can see. But I can see far deeper than anybody. I can watch the sun in 40 degrees. I can look straight in the eye of the sun and I see the energy faces in the sun. My eyes can look straight into the sun with no glasses. They know we cannot fly from down to up in the sky. But what we see, the blue sky, is not as down as it is. There is something like a white glass in front of the blue sky and there they can pump the the thing we see what we know as cloud they cannot put it on the sun it will burn it it will melt it so they put it but it's so low down by us you can only see it when you watch but most of you you have your schedule, you all have a book from January to December you have appointment, appointment, appointment you're busy, you do your book, you come in home, there's a bill on the floor. You have to hurry. You don't have time to watch. You're watching your it's only you and the alarm and your clock in your arm. And you're just driving. I have to get to Amsterdam. It's three hours to get there. No. They know if they make you from here to Amsterdam it's half an hour. You will see how small the balloon we sitting in. The countries are not far away from each other as they make it to be. It is not far. Only watch where the sun is standing and you will see you're not moving anywhere. It's the same place. You're only going around and around. The houses, the cities are not far from each other. The train is going round and round, round and round. Sometimes when you take a walk, when you cross the street, and you take a turn to the other house, try to watch where the sun stands. Your eyes will show you totally something else.